So in this example, what we're looking into doing is identifying the amplitude, the period, and the frequency. So the main important thing you guys will need to know for sine and cosine is definitely those two things. AJ, does that make sense? Good. So remember to identify the amplitude. That is just going to be the absolute value of A. To understand the absolute value of A, remember we need to understand our transformation format. Right? What is A, B, C, and D? I'll represent them. If you remember two class periods ago, we talked about how they all relate, right? So if you weren't here, you really need to make sure you have those notes because we only talked about it for one day and then we moved along. Um, however, to identify the amplitude, you're just taking the absolute value of A, which in this case is 3. So the absolute value of 3 is just 3. The period. Remember, the period is how long it takes the graph to repeat itself. So um, Brian, the, the period is going to be 2 pi divided by absolute value of B. That is for your sine, cosine, cosecant, and secant. Now, we need to identify your B. And this one kind of looks a little confusing because B is what's being multiplied by x. Well, here you're not multiplying anything by x. You're just dividing by a number 2, right? So dividing by 2 is the same thing as multiplying by 1 half, right? You could rewrite this as 3 sine of 1 half x, right? That's the same thing as not. So therefore, I could say this is 2 pi divided by 1 half. Now, whenever we have a number divided by a fraction, we know we can get rid of the fraction by multiplying by it. So the period is going to be 4 pi. And remember the frequency um, is just the reciprocal of your period. So that would be 1 over 4 pi. So the fraction thing gets a lot of students. Just make sure you guys are just really careful um, with that. 